And I'm your host, Marvelous Mshlanga Nyahuye. And uh, today on the Women's Roundtable, we're discussing the role some women's organizations are playing in promoting other women and young girls. Christian Fellowship International, CFI, a thriving Christian interdenominational consortium of churches and fellowships across the United States of Zimbabweans, kicks off their 2024 conference in Washington, D.C. tomorrow, Friday, and will run until Sunday. We'll bring you more on this later on in the show. Back home in Zimbabwe, some women in Mashonaland and West Province have started a gardening project that is not only sustaining them and their families, but their local community as a whole. One of the project leaders, Winnie Mandijiza, says that their program is unique in that they had no assistance from men within their community and is thriving. <laughs> Project <laughs> As that day was Winnie Mandijiza in rural Mashonaland and West. And to discuss this issue, we are joined via Skype by Grace Majengwa of the Christian Fellowship International and Eva Nice Munando of the Female Students Network Zimbabwe. Welcome to the program, ladies. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, and I'll start thank off you very much, Navela. Thank you. Uh, I'll start off with you, uh, Mrs. Mujengwa. You are here in uh, Washington. What brings you here? We understand that there is uh, Zimbabweans that are going to be coming in from all over the United States. Why are you converging? Yes, absolutely. I am here for the uh, Christian Fellowship International Annual Conference. Uh, it is happening right here in D.C. As you can see behind me, I just arrived in my hotel room. Uh, we are at the Hyatt Regency Tyson's Corner Center in Tyson's, Virginia. What kind of topics are you going to be uh, discussing at this fellowship? Well, our theme this year is Jesus at the center of it all. So that is what is going to be driving the discussions is how do we uh, make sure that we are keeping Jesus at the center of our lives, at our, of our marriages, of our uh, children, uh, everything in our lives. So. All of the speakers will be anchored on that particular uh, bio verse. And are you having any uh, visitors from Zimbabwe joining you? Yes, we will have some visitors from Zimbabwe. In fact, one of our speakers, uh, the Reverend Bertha Goera, just arrived from Zimbabwe today. Thank you very much. Uh, please stay on the line. Tombo ya kwa muri amai eva na ismonando mumbo tuzo kuti imimune juru nguwa jizi njizwa manga muru kuita tukona muru kubatira wa nanya nyawa nasika na waru kuzokira kushukoro nejume shwa kadaro mgati sana nguru wakuti ndejipi shwa muru kuita parijino. Parijino inguwa ya kaa kosa chaizo ya isanga na redi ve fimo student metuwe kwe abo patiku enda kuma college ma college ma jizi ni ma university waru wa vura shukoro Saka nguwa ino ya katiko shara ni kuti mbupa tino sangana. Nguwa iwa zizi wa rukuti anga kuya. Wa rukuti anga kuya pashiku pashiku uruba fisi. Saka tia sangana na oti nguwa zizi sa nyaya yi college life. Yodi mingira re, re, re program yedi yoyo. Kutu zama uya pama institution zama babu zimba wakasia na siyana. Jisha mshano tari sila kusangana na azu uh, pa college pama uya kana pa university. Nguwa hapa chengezo yezi ino jimati ambu ziku. Anuwa nikwa. Kajinji kuni waru kutianga. Nguwa batila kutika na wachinji wa sangana ni maa. Chambu ziku iwaya. Wanga, wanga batila wa si. Iyezi wanga batila ka si. Saka tindu ushu nguwa za tili kutora. Iku ushino. Shina nga ane wazizi waru kutianga wa. Nituwa batila. Kutuwa pindi mchi. Nishiru nguwa chiku zizda ichi. Wabati ane ni wamu. Wachizi wa kutiza kamira si. Iye wano inti ya si. Iyo pachao. Inuna zipi zamuru kuona e, vanaska na nyanyavaru kusangana na zoku makole juku? Inuna zagati wandei, zeku tianga nizati shiri, zeku pisa mazwamu. Inya ya sexual assignment, sa sexual abuse. Yoni ya ya tuku nye kufamba na ya ninyaya kutika na wachinde wa shikapa chikoro. Wuna ya ningu watina zawaru kuzia. Ine sexual abuse, ine itika nizira zakasi ya nasiana. Sakati ine zikiwa zizi, zizi kutika na ichinye itika na mkaona ilizo itika. 
mwezi wa kuti ini ili shongea mwenge mchito sangana nae saka kesha la drisi ili kumye chapa kuti kumye wamo na studenti wano gara pa kambas wamo wano gara pa zimba wamo wano renda pa zimba zaka kumbereza ii muskoza wani kwa kizizda isi saka nili shongea ini kutia mwenge kana pamba pa waru kukara kana wati gara waka sangana nae wako mana kana kuti iyo wari zile zimba wano kuna uto nili shonga wa sika na hafu wako kufamba wa chenda kusikoro mga wano mchova mga wano mtransport kana mabaza wano shandisa mimi mimi shonga zvakare ye sexual abuse yoyo ye bullying sabva ipapo watika pachikoro vanonotsangana zve zvakare nekuti vane nepasangana vadzidzisi vanodzidza vanodzidza vave chirume vane ndivasangana ipapo saka vane vanongosangana nemhiri zvonga mazvawo se iye ngo vadzofi saka iyi nyaya sexual harassment iri kunetsa pakuti eh vana vasikana havo vanenge vachiri kutanga havo saka tiko vapati njedzo havasati vakuimbisisa kuti ine nge sexual harassment iyo famba seiko saka iyo dambudziko iri tiri kufamba naro zvakanyanya zvakadzika kutira kuti tivabatsire kifambe nawo kubva vachiri kutanga kudai kuti kana hosangana nazvo vaone mazano uye zvafambe nezvo tichivabatsira mudambudziko vanenge vasangana nawo saka rimwe dambudziko zviri kusangana nevana ava a inya yekuti ma zimbawo ari kushaya zimba dzekudze kugara dziya inyango ari pawo ari kuona ma resident kaiyo pachikoro ii ari kudhura zvisinga ite uye ari kutoloja hawa mari dzacho dziri kuwanda ndi zvikamiri tsarisa maniri akaita hupumi yenyika ili mazwano pari zvino hauna kumira zvakanaka saka vana hava ari kurenyerwa nenye yekuti vabhadhere mari dzekuloja idzodzo vagozo bada hezi chai chai kana kutarisa mukere chedzo ine dzimwe dziri kuita ma 600 ki 800 US dollars. Kuno mm-hmm. mudzimbabwe tiri kushandisa mazwinji. Ine mari haiti kuwanika nyore sezva tiri kufunga. Saka mamu matambudziko ari atosangana nevana ati achitaura nawo pa ari kutanga kudzidza kuti zvinokwanisika sei izvo zvo zvinhu zvakadaro si zviri kudiwa chikafu chekudya chinodiwa vana vasikara vanoda zvakawanda vanoda zvekushandisa. Saka zvinobati zvinobatika sei sezvo nyaya dzemari dziri kuti mitei mazwano akagatarisana nawo. I want thank you so much uh, back to you Mrs Manjengwa uh, as you go into your program take us a little bit into uh, you talked about you know there are different sessions that you'll be having take us through some of these sessions that you'll be having Absolutely so we have a lineup of about 15 speakers who are going to be preaching uh, starting with our keynote speaker Dr James Singa Tenga He's going to be one, like I said, one of 15 who will be sharing the word. Um, so if you are coming, prepare to be inspired and blessed. Uh, we will also have early morning worship, uh, similar to Rumuko that we have, Kumusha. So it will be praise and worship, uh, lots of music uh, to inspire and bless you. We also have some young adults who are going to be presenting one of the difficult things of uh children being raised in America is being able to communicate with their parents about different things and so these adults will be talking about some of those challenges as it relates to relationships uh to dating uh different things of that nature we also have some workshops uh because one of the things that CFI wants to do is to address the whole person the spiritual the mind and body as well so workshops to help you with your finances workshops to help you with dating, marriage, balancing and managing stress as well as immigration. Mm, that sounds uh, very topical at the moment looking at America is going into elections. Uh so that should be a very interesting uh, topic right there. But uh, coming back to women, what can women benefit from this conference? Oh, yes, definitely. For women, it's really about understanding our space within the ecosystem of the world uh it's really about how do we work together how do we work in uh conjunction with the men in raising our families uh because what CFI is about is really bringing families together um and so being in that environment where everyone is together how do the men build up the women and vice versa um so it's really about just the family unit Mm-hmm. And uh, also talking about the young children, what can they benefit? And uh, talking also about families, who needs to come out there? Is it open to everybody? It is open to one and all. Everyone is welcome. Uh, please go and register www.christianfellowshipinternational.org. 
register. Uh, for those who are in the area, you're welcome to come uh, on a day-by-day -day basis. You don't have to even stay at the hotel. Uh, just come on, come all. Definitely. Thank you so much. Uh, please stay on the line. I'll come back to you uh, very soon. Ms. Munando Tombotsukakwamuri, we saw you participating in the SADC summit. What exactly was your participation there? Uh, Okay, Okay.
Bye bye. Ah, we're hearing there from one of our rural women. Now, I'm coming back to you, uh, Ms. Munando. You were talking about, uh, you said uh, you were able to meet with uh, uh, Sadak First Ladies. Carry on before we go to our Sky guest. Okay, so the forum was meant to uh, discuss uh, the challenges that are implicated by the climate change across the, the, the Sadak region. So it was very interesting that we learned from other countries uh, the impact of uh, the climate change and how it is affecting women as well in terms of the challenges that it is, in, it is causing. So they were first made from various countries and uh, they were also like kind of to say how do we also take part in making sure and mitigating the climate change. And as a region, how can we collectively put our hands together and also do activities that uh, will challenge the climate change and be able to respond and able to come up with mechanisms that will be put in place to respond to climate change. So it was a, a, a platform where even civil society organizations were privileged to attend and also at the private sector where first ladies were sharing from the experience from their countries and also coming up with collective agreement or a collective a plan of action where we were going to, I mean, where they were going to to go after this summit and also task each and every country to do likewise in terms of uh, pledging to do something with regard to climate change and uh, uh, put up mechanisms that will also help if it's every, every individual country. Thank you so much. Uh, over to you, uh, my man Jengwa, uh, there, he, uh, you know, sorry, I made you wait for a little bit, uh, but um, moving forward, have people already started arriving or what's the status right now? Right now, people are starting to show up, uh, but it's mostly people who are so far uh, part of the, the planning, but we expect more people to come in later on today and or very early tomorrow morning. Uh, one of the things I did want to mention, um, I mentioned earlier, we've got about 15 speakers, about half of those are women. Uh, and then also leading our young adults program is, is three amazing young women. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity here where um, really CFI is, 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 wants to make sure that everyone is brought along, women um, growing together as families. Mm -hmm. If people want to know more and also to join you, where can they do that, those that haven't oh, definitely. registered yet? Please, um, www.christianfellowshipinternational.org. All the information about the conference will be there on that site. Thank you so much. And your last word as you invite people to come over. My last word is you don't want to miss it. Please come and join us. You will be blessed. I promise you, you will not regret it. Uh, there is so much uh, that is waiting here for you in Tyson's Virginia. And I also heard something that you said that interested me, that you're also inviting children, I think you said. Can you mention a little bit about that? Yes, we've got a set of young adults who are going to be presenting. Uh, they will be talking about different topics that, children normally don't feel comfortable talking to their parents about uh, and so they will be breaking that down and this is really in hope that we can all begin to have that dialogue uh, because definitely being raised here uh, as I was raised in the U.S. is very different from being raised in Zimbabwe. Thank you so much uh, Mai Manjengwa. Uh, over to you Mai Munondo to just give us your final word. Where can people reach you if they want to see what your organization is doing? Okay, then they can access us through our website, www.femostudentsnetwork.org. That's our website. Mm -hmm. Are you also on social they media? Us to us. Yes, they can access us also through our Facebook page. It's called Female Students Network. And also, uh, LT. Thank what is you. It? It's no longer, it's a safe space. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, to my two guests there. Let's take a look at what is happening here in the United States. In this close U.S. presidential race, the southern state of Georgia is one of the handful of states that may decide the outcome. 
VOA correspondent Scott Stearns reports on what the campaigns are doing in Georgia and how they hope to carry this key swing state. Kamala Harris chose a bus trip through Georgia as her first post-democratic convention campaigning, starting at a high school band practice where running mate Tim Walls talked about the joyful work of their campaign. I'm grateful to be part of a team with a really great head coach here uh, and your next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. And Harris praised young Georgians' leadership. Your generation, all that you guys stand for, everything you have at stake, is what is going to propel our country into the next era of what we can do and what we can do. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump led Georgia political polls through much of this election cycle. But with Joe Biden out of the race, most now show Trump and Harris are tied. Trump running mate J.D. Vance was in Georgia last week. We're going to do it together, but only if you get us across the finish line in Georgia. This is one of the most important states in the union. Vance and Trump are campaigning largely on what they say are economic and immigration policy failures, both of which, Trump told Georgia voters, should be blamed on Harris. With your vote, inflation will stop. The illegal aliens will be turned back. They're not coming in. we got to stop them. Did you see where she's now saying, oh, we had a very good border, oh, great. They had the worst border in the history of the world. Trump winning Republican votes in Georgia is complicated by his denunciation of the state's popular Republican governor, Brian Kemp, who won re-election two years ago despite a Trump-backed primary challenge. Earlier this month, Trump repeatedly blamed Kemp and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger for his Georgia loss in 2020. Raffensperger and Brian Kemp, your governor, who I got elected, by the way. If it wasn't for me, he would not be your governor. I think everybody knows that. He's a very disloyal person, isn't he? Very disloyal. With Georgia polls tightening, Trump used his social media site last week to thank Kemp for all his help and support in Georgia. Kemp is set to co-host a Trump fundraiser in Atlanta Thursday. A Georgia grand jury indicted Trump and some of his allies last year over their attempts to illegally interfere with the state's 2020 election results. Trump attorneys this week again appealed for the dismissal of those charges in a case that will not go to trial before Election Day. Georgia's state election board Monday approved new rules that critics say could disrupt finalizing the state's November election results. Two board members voted against the change. The three board members who passed it were all hailed by name by Trump this month as, quote, pit bulls fighting for honesty, transparency, and victory. Scott Stearns, VOA News. Thank you, Scott. In an interview with VOA, United Nations experts say terror groups in Africa are increasing their use of drones to carry out operations previously only possible to nation states. From Somalia to the Sahel, reporter Henry Wilkins looks at how this makes the work of African states fighting insurgencies even more difficult. These drone images, which VOA has been unable to independently verify, purport to show Al-Shabaab's attack on an airport in Kenya in 2021, as well as the use of drones by the armed groups JNIM and ISWAP to coordinate attacks in Mali and Nigeria. According to UN experts, terror groups in Africa linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State are making increasing use of consumer drones to carry out operations. The airborne capability so allows them to have you know, better view of the battle space and their operating environments also uh, provides them with a new way of being able to gather intelligence and in that way also to plan and coordinate attacks, you know, also sometimes with a higher degree of, of lethality and precision. Experts point out that militaries fighting insurgencies and facing terrorist threats from the air for the first time are at a disadvantage. Karen Allen, a senior research advisor at the Institute for Security Studies, has written extensively on the subject of drone use by terror groups. It conveys a significant uh, psychological advantage uh, to armed groups who in the past may have been um, at a disadvantage compared to regular armies. So it's, it's leveled the playing field, if you like, between um, regular forces and irregular forces. While it's unclear exactly how many incidences of drone use by terror groups there have been in Africa, instances have been recorded in Somalia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Nigeria, 
and Mozambique. Figueiredo, as the central Sahel, has borne the brunt of the new trend, however, which has spread from IS and Al-Qaeda in Iraq and Syria to their affiliates in Africa. Alan adds that the use of drones by terror groups is difficult to stop because drones are easy to buy for civilian use on the internet. I think there is a real difficulty in being able to to stop the use of a technology which is a, a dual-use technology. I mean, think of a mobile phone. Mobile phone can be used most of the time to be able to communicate and have a completely benign purpose, but it can also be used to trigger a tripwire and to cause an ID to explode. She adds that African nations need to invest in anti-drone systems. This may include tech that jams radio signals, disabling drones, and even anti-drone lasers. Henry Wilkins. BOA News. That brings us to the end of our show. Signing off in Washington, I'm Marvelous from Slanganyahuye.